Okay, we're here talking to Rich Hanford, who puts on the Winnipeg Tattoo Convention. Um, Rich, when we were in Saskatoon, you and I had kind of briefly uh, talked about uh, tattoo conventions and the direction they were going. And I remember one thing you said to me that I found really interesting was that you wanted to try to keep your tattoo convention relatively small in comparison to some shows and and with a focus really on the artistry of, of uh, tattooing. So uh, I'd like to discuss that with you. Absolutely. Okay. First of all, um, I was just wondering, just for a little background, uh, how long have you been in the, involved with tattooing? Um, that's a good question. I guess I tattooed myself on my, fr my parents' front steps in 1989. Uh, so on and off since then, I guess mm -hmm. uh, I've been tattooing professionally since 1999. Mm -hmm. uh, I started out on Vancouver Island with uh, James Tex and Todd Dunn at uh, Tattoo Zoo. And from there, I've gradually moved east. And uh, here I am in Winnipeg, Manitoba, where I've run Kapala Tattoo since 2003. Hmm. Okay. So, Rich, in, in all the time that you've been tattooing, you, no doubt you've been to a lot of tattoo conventions. I'm curious to know how the conventions you've been to have influenced the convention that you put on. Uh, I think... Uh, I started traveling very early on in my career to, to collect tattoos. So I started traveling around 2000 and collecting tattoos from artists whose uh, work inspired me and whose uh, styles of tattooing I wanted to emulate. Uh, from there, yeah, I started doing tattoo conventions from Newfoundland to Vancouver Island and then going abroad doing, doing Paris and London. All the tattoo conventions that I've attended have greatly influenced this show. Uh, I've taken all of the elements and all of the things that I've personally liked as a tattooer from these shows. And we've tried to apply them to making the Winnipeg Tattoo Convention something special, something that takes us back to those early years of tattoo conventions, where tattoo conventions were uh, about camaraderie. They're about a sharing of ideas and a sharing of our work. It was a chance for artists to come out of their closets and away from their drawing tables and actually interact with their heroes and the people they've looked up to from afar. Back then we were looking at magazines. You didn't, you didn't know Philip Lou personally unless you flew to Switzerland and collected a bodysuit from him. And I think, uh, I think that's some of the magic of a tattoo convention is bringing together these amazing people and this diverse group of artists and just coming together into a, a celebration of tattoo art and culture. So personally, I've, for me, the best parts of all those tattoo conventions were the social elements of getting to know these tattooers, the men and women that were making the tattoos that I admired, getting to know them on a personal level, breaking bread with them, making art with them. And so that's what I'm hoping we're doing with the Winnipeg Tattoo Convention mm -hmm. is bringing us all together. Okay, so w one thing that really stood out to me at your show was the amount of really amazing artists that were at the show. Uh, so many good artists and, and so many artists who were doing innovative things with tattooing. And it was amazing to see like that group in, in such a small little space like that, you know. And I'm wondering, how did you choose the artists to invite to your convention? Um basically I started with my friends and peers mm -hmm. all all the people that have tattooed me over the years mm -hmm. all the people I've ever admired or looked up to in tattooing uh, I invited every person that I respect to come to to Winnipeg and uh, we we're very fortunate last year that almost all of them accepted our invitation mm -hmm. and yeah I think it was something really special to have us all together and yeah for one weekend here in Winnipeg, you know? What do you hope that they will bring to the show? 
I hope they bring passion. I hope they bring uh, work ethic, creativity, a positive energy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we invited some of the, definitely all of Canada's best tattooers to come together. Despite the fact that we all come from different walks of life, we're still all bonded by this craft of tattooing. Mm -hmm. For the general public, um, a, a show like this has a lot to offer. I think uh, it showcases the quality of work that's being done in every city, in every country in the world right now. And tattooing is really going through a renaissance where it's left the backs of barber shops and is now a mainstream industry, you know? I think, uh, I think it's great to show what passionate people are making. And I think it raises the expectations of the general public. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it, it will make uh, young tattooers hungry to improve. And it just raises overall artistic standards within, within all of tattooing. Yeah. yeah. Amongst, amongst each other, uh, from artist to artist. From artist to artist. I yeah. think there's a, like a lot of positives. I think it also, it, it educates the general public, mm -hmm. you know, as to as to what's possible as to um seeing great work large-scale custom tattooing that flows with the body you, you know. can't come away from seeing kurt wiscombe back pieces and steve moore back pieces in person without uh, your eyes widening right it's it's no longer a little bit of cursive writing or a small symbol uh i think you know, you're only limited by the skin with tattooing these days. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think we have an awesome tattoo culture and scene here in Canada. I think it's unique because of our geography and we're separated by such distances from each other. I think it's really led to the development of different styles in different areas of the country. Mm -hmm. And, you know, particularly over the last decade, too, where we've had more and more artists become tattooers. Uh, I think the work that's being done from Newfoundland to Vancouver Island is incredible. I think uh, shows like uh, the Winnipeg Tattoo Convention, uh, Montreal, the Okanagan Tattoo Show, I think they give international visitors a glimpse into the quality of work that we're doing here in Canada. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe it's like a testament to uh, us as Canadians, but I think in general, we're more of a humble people. And maybe we're not putting ourselves out there as much as uh, some of our neighbors to the south or overseas. So I, I think by, by coming to Canada, coming to these shows, uh, it gives international visitors a, a real kind of peek behind the curtain. Mm -hmm. You know, you get a get to see who the Wizard of Oz is. Right. Yeah, and enjoy the show, enjoy the magic of it. I think for Canadians uh, who maybe necessar don't necessarily travel abroad as much, it gives us a chance to meet some of our international brothers and sisters too, where, you know, they've, they share in this art of, of tattoo, but have very different experiences. Yeah, I think, I think it's a great way to shine a little light on the quality of work being done in the, the Great White North. What know. is a tattoo convention to you? What is a tattoo convention to me? I think to the general public, a tattoo convention is a celebration of tattoo art and culture. Uh, whether you're a serious tattoo collector and you're coming to collect a specific tattoo from a specific artist, to someone who's just curious about what tattooing is, uh, I think there's something at a tattoo convention for everything. And I, I think... Uh, or for everyone, sorry, for that matter. I'm, I'm happy with the response we've had to the convention from Manitobans and from tattooers. And uh, we're going to try and do it all again this August. Okay, so when is it and where is it? Say it to the camera. August 24th to 26th, Red River Exhibition Park here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. You can visit us online at winnipegtattooconvention.com or on Instagram at Winnipeg Tattoo Convention underscore. Be there or be square. <laughs>